Let's find out what's inside this one's Sprawler box, shall we? Okay, we have a weird, funny looking clear trash can. <laughs> Guessing it's a pencil case. Whoa, how many zippers are on this thing? All right, so it zips around here and it zips around here. Also escaping, we have a sharpener. It's very lightweight. I think I see an eagle. <laughs> That's really pretty. Let's open up the uh, tissue paper and see what else is inside here. So the candy, it's a cherry stick, so chupa chups. Hey, we can finally open this up. <laughs> Everything's just falling out of here. So we have the list of supplies, but I wanna see what they are first. Oh, and the sticker, of course. Oh, is this an eraser? Yes. I think this is an eraser. Ooh, so is it kind of like a kneaded eraser, but a funny shape? And also we have six fine art Derwent pencils. Let's open that up. Oh, they're colorful. <laughs> I was a little disappointed. I was like, eh, pencils. I <laughs> but there's some colors in here. Okay, we have uh, Aubergine. Could be pronouncing that completely wrong. Cloud gray, ivy, midnight black, shadow. And this one's very pretty. I want to see what that looks like. And white, 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 white. On this box, it just says they're fine art pencils, but these, they have little watercolor brushes on them. So I'm guessing they're watercolor pencils? Let's see what the paper says. Okay, it doesn't say they're specifically watercolor pencils, but it says they're water soluble. So subtle colors become more vibrant if you add a little water. They're called graphitant pencils. So this month's box features a supply of pencils, but they are not just any pencils. These pencils have a few tricks up their sleeves. Explore the various techniques and marks that can be made or erased and let your creativity soar. So apparently these are not your ordinary pencil. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. Ooh, that's very pretty. It's not an eagle, it's a hawk, isn't it? Featured artist is Lisa Cloth. Oop, she's on YouTube too, Lacry. That sounds familiar, why is it not? I'll have her linked in the description. <laughs> I need to do more animal studies. And then at the bottom we have our paper. I keep getting dented paper, dang it. This is the Northfolk cartridge paper, 150 GSM. Oh, and there's a little note that says this paper is not made to hold water. So you have to use it moderately if I'm going to be adding water to the pencils. Cause that probably would have made a big mess. And the prompt is upside down. The prompt is take flight. All right, so we gotta draw something using these supplies and this prompt word. Let's do it. Was that one a purple? Swatch these out. Auburn game. Shadow. Ivy. Oh, these are really pretty together. Midnight black. Cloud gray. And white. Which you can barely see. Of course. <laughs> Let's try the erasey. Okay, well, it's not a kneaded eraser. There's eraser shavings everywhere. So I'm a little disappointed. Just an eraser. It actually doesn't even erase very well. Unless that's a technique you could use if you wanted to get some smudgy lines. Not sure when you would want smudgy lines. There we have pencils and erasers. So why don't we try adding water to these and see what happens. Paint puck will always be here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I like that color a lot better. We had the water to the forest. What was it called? Ivy. <laughs> okay. I think I'm definitely gonna be adding water to these because I like the colors better. Although what happens if you draw directly onto the wet paper? Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's an interesting effect. You can get like a much thicker fun line. I wonder if you could draw on yourself with these. <laughs> this is what I used to do as a kid with all my watercolor pencils. <laughs> Some kind of alien. <laughs> Ooh, cool. That's right, we were supposed to draw something. <laughs> what am I doing? Your eraser works really well on the white. <laughs> looks so good. <gasps> I got an idea, I got an idea. I have an idea. This is my idea. See if you can guess it. Figure it out yet? The prompt is take flight, so. The eyes should be bigger, more alien-y. Alien-y. <laughs> it's a little weird. I think I'll need to do another sketch of this one. This was just a rough idea, man. Like one of those, you earn your wings or whatever to fly. <laughs> Something like that. Let me try some more thumbnails. nails. What if he has a bigger chin? That could be fun. Oh, and what if he had like big funny ears? Oh, I like this guy. 
This guy's kind of cool. He looks so proud of himself. I think we're getting somewhere here. Nice utility belt. He's so proud. There you go. All right. I don't have enough room to draw his shoes, but I'm gonna use the colors and see um, where I wanna put the colors before we go in and actually draw the actual illustration. Should we just go with green skin? <laughs> Be generic. <laughs> Pasha shush. Looks a little Shrek-like. Ooh, and he's at the shade. That's kind of cool. I'm thinking a gray spacesuit with purple accent. And then maybe purple for the uh, belty belt. Oh, okay. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm getting a handle of what these, how to use these. <laughs> You can actually like shade this really lightly around. Cool. They should have supplied a paintbrush though. That would have been nice. But look how cool that is. Okay. I'm getting several different tones. Even with the same pencil. Which is cool. I guess that doesn't need to be a complete circle, but kinda ended up being that way. <laughs> I think this is promising. And then you can blend that out. I know Scrollerbox had uh, watercolor pencils in here before, but I was not able to blend them out as well as these. These are really, really nice. Like you can get almost all of the strokes out just by adding a little bit of water. That's really nice. What if we had space in the background? Let's see if we can get those strokes out. Those are kind of dark. Yeah, see, that's these are really nice pencils. I wonder if they're expensive because the pigment just comes right up and then you can just blend it out. I'm really impressed, actually. I haven't used a lot of watercolor pencils, but the other ones that I used were definitely not this good. And I wonder if that dries, if I could use a white gel pen over it. Maybe you could draw space. The final frontier. I think I'm liking this design a lot better. So now that we have an idea, I'm going to uh, get out a new piece of paper and we're going to go ham and try and actually draw something. <laughs> He's actually making me really, really happy and I'm excited to draw him. I still didn't make enough room for his legs. I feel like I've lost something from his face. Let's try it again. A little butter. <laughs> like Buzz Lightyear. Should I give him hair? Maybe I put one knee up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe a flag of his country. Worm for like air, oxygen. <laughs> Eraser shaving, they're so gross. <laughs> it's kind of like a heel. Turning out really cute. <laughs> I'm not sure what to put his foot on though. Just try to look at it from a different angle. Make sure it still looks good when I pick it up. You ever done that when you finish a drawing and then you look at it from like any other angle and it's poo poo? That <laughs> happens all the time. Or when you try to get like an Instagram photo and you try like an artistic angle and you're like, ooh, okay, I didn't know it looked like that from that angle. <laughs> how proud he is to be in space, taking flight. I don't know if I should put a flag in here somewhere. I could cut him. Right up that way. Something like that. That's not bad. It'll be some like weird American flag with the colors that I have. <laughs> that could be interesting. Honestly, I could erase all this pencil, but I kind of like the way it looks interacting with the pencil. So I'll probably just add the color right on top of this. Such a mess. I have a trick to clean this stuff off though that I learned with dish soap. So. It's okay, don't worry. I will clean this up, but let's start with the colors. So that's probably what I'll do first. Yeah, I'm really quite in love with these pencils. The way the, cause you can just add like a little bit like that and then you go over it and you can remove all of those strokes. I think it was two months ago, two months ago, Scrawler Box had watercolor pencils in there. 
but these are significantly better. I think the paper might be breaking underneath it. That might be where that weird texture lines are coming from. Oh, I forgot his ears. These would be really fun to use in like a sketchbook because I just like the way they interact with the pencil. I really like the way that looks like just in your sketchbook with pencil and then that gray colored pencil. Ooh, that could be really fun. I need his, this thing was purple. Ooh, I like that color a lot. What was that called again? Auber, aubergine, aubergine? I have no idea. <laughs> I'll have to Google that one. But I like the color. The utility belt was purple. Beautiful, beautiful. Some shading maybe. Maybe when that dries, we can add another layer and get it even darker. I want it to get darker as it goes to the edges of this. Make it look more rounded. I forgot to draw the gauntlet thing. I don't give the gloves. It's gonna be the blue color, actually. That could be cool. That's dark. Wait, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We can line that up. Ooh, that is pretty too. I like all the colors that came in this. Except for the white. I can't. The white has been kind of useless so far. I'm kind of diverging from <laughs> my thumbnail, but what is art if we don't experiment? Quite blending as well as the other colors were. Even on the glove. Ooh, yeah, that's a little dirty looking. Might have made a mistake here. I think the paper is actually peeling up. A little gnarly. Probably should finish drawing the boots. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh. No, no. Go back. Get back in there. They're probably my last piece of lead. I gotta move that foot up. Yeah, a little something something. I wonder what the technique is supposed to be <laughs> for adding color. Like, should you use a palette of some kind? Or is this sort of the way to do it? That worked a lot better than the gloves did. I guess is the key is to not use too much water. Let's finish coloring the suit with the gray. I think it needs more green in the suit. I think that's what I really liked about this, was that there was some green. See anywhere we can figure it out. Just place it. Ooh, just like, ooh, the shading in green. There you go. Now we don't want to cover in the whole mask or what? I don't know what this is called. It's a glass piece because I want it to look like, you know, it's glass. And then we can fill in the rest a lot darker for the space. It was midnight black one of these colors. Oh, here it is, midnight. Mm, midnight black, yeah. I'm a little scared to get too close to the sketch because I don't want it to like blend in there, but we'll see what happens. Probably go in with another layer and I bet it would get even darker. Blend it out. Should have taped this paper down. <laughs> Oops. I get a little closer now. Blend out that line a little bit. Not getting a very even tone here, but that's probably because of the way, like I really like that, but the rest is a lot lighter or darker, I guess. But I gotta be careful because I don't want to go over the paper too much because this paper is struggling. Really pulling down the quality of this illustration. But as part of the challenge here, I'm using the supplies they give me. Although they didn't give me this brush. <laughs> well, oh well, I guess I failed the challenge. We could make the planet green. That would pull more green into the drawing. See what happens. Ooh, I like that color. <laughs> Good sharpener. It works. Give him some more blushies. Let me try just going straight into this. That works. Now we could just go over, now that we've had some base colors, we can go over with pencils again and add some more details. Especially if I sharpen this, I bet I could do a lot better. Add in the lines with this blue. Oh, yeah, that's pulling it together pretty good. Those, these rocks and bits and things. 
I'm surprised how different the color is from just being placed on the paper versus when you add water to it. Like the color almost completely changes. I guess I'll just make it a green flag. I'm not gonna count the stripes. <laughs> Whatever we get, we get. Throw in that lighter one with the lighter green. Taking flight. I think I want to try and see if I can draw stars over this. Hey, this is it could be. Maybe need to be a little darker for that to work. Or I could do bigger blobbies. What would be nice is if this white pencil worked. I mean, maybe. Not really. That's probably the letdown of the <laughs> box. The white pencil. I mean, maybe if I had toned paper, it could look pretty cool, but that's just not what we're working with. Hey, at least I followed the prompt word this time, guys. <laughs> My last scroller box. <laughs> okay. Well, this one, I like this one. I think he turned out very, very cute. My little spaceman. He can fly. Well, he already took flight, but still. I think he turned out very, very cute. I had a lot of fun with this box. These pencils are pretty cool. Graffitant pencil. That is water activated. <laughs> I, I do like them, they're very, very cool. And I really like the color combo that came with this box. Like this isn't something I would have picked out on my own, but it was really, really fun to work with. And like it inspired me to draw an alien and I had a lot of fun. So uh, thank you Scrawlerbox for sending me this box to try out and share with all of you. And uh, yeah, um, if you're interested in your own Scrawlerbox subscription and getting monthly art supplies, mystery art supplies every month. Um, I'll have a link in the description where you can learn more information about that. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you have a delicious evening. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, I guess I should put everything back in the here. In the here, in the here, in the here, in the here. Put in there. Put in there. And the you, and the you.